What's in the fucking box? Let's find out, shall we? As the Final Fantasy journey continues with Final Fantasy VII, I'm down where? Who's in that coffin? Alright, you waited long enough. Who's in here? To wake me from the nightmare. Who is it? It's the Undertaker. I don't know you. You must leave. You were having a nightmare. How bad was your dream? Hmm, a nightmare? My long sleep has given me time to atone. What are you saying? Are you some kind of emo? I have nothing to say to strangers. Get out. This mansion is the beginning of your nightmare. You could say that again. Do you know something? I'm gonna talk about Sephiroth. Like you said, this mansion is the beginning of a nightmare. No, it's not a dream. It's for real. Sephiroth has lost his mind. He found the secrets hidden in this mansion. Sephiroth? You, you know, know Sephiroth? Sephiroth? Nice flip. What, are you an acrobat too? You start first. That's how it was. So Sephiroth knows he was created five years ago, and about the Genova Project? He was missing, but has just recently reappeared. He has taken many lives and is seeking the promised land. Now it's your turn. Sorry, I cannot speak. What? Hmm, I'm disappointed. Me too. People think this character is cool for some reason. Hearing your stories is yet another sin for me. More nightmares shall come to me now than I previously had. Yeah, that's right, Dracula. Just go back to sleep. Now please leave. Hey! I'm not done talking to you! You son of a bitch! You're still here. Who are you? At least tell us your name. I was with Shinra Manufacturing and Administrative Research, also known as the Turks. Ooh, he's so dark and mysterious. Vincent. The Turks? So you're a prick? Formerly of the Turks. I have no affiliation with Shinra now. And you? Cloud, formerly of Soldier. You are also with Shinra? Then do you know Lucretia? Who? Lucretia. The woman who gave birth to Sephiroth. Gave birth? Wasn't Genova Sephiroth's mother? That isn't completely wrong, but just a theory. He was born from a beautiful lady. That lady was Lucretia. She was an assistant to Professor Gast of the Genova Project. Beautiful Lucretia. A human experiment? There was no way to cancel the experiment. I couldn't stop her. That was my sin. I let the one I loved, the one I respected most, face the worst. So the punishment was sleep? That's weird. The fuck? Hey! Asshole! Fine. You want to be alone? I hope you're rotten there. Oh shit! Sephiroth! Being here brings back memories. Are you going to participate in the reunion? I didn't get my invite. I don't even know what a reunion is! No surprise there. Genova will be at the reunion. Genova will join the reunion, becoming a calamity from the skies. 
Genova, a calamity from the skies. You mean she wasn't an ancient? I see. I don't think you have the right to participate. Too stupid. I'll go north past Mount Nipple. If you wish to know, then follow. Reunion? Calamity from the skies! Stop repeating things, idiot. Oh! What a dick. He just bounces material off my stupid forehead. Huh, what did he give me? Something good, I hope. Destruct materia. Sounds badass. What's this should do? Let's see. Deep barrier, dispel, and death. Hmm. I don't know how useful that's gonna be, but it sounds cool. Alright. Fuck you, Vincent. We're leaving. Wait. If I go with you, will I meet Hojo? I don't know. But we're after him and Sephiroth. So I guess sooner or later. Lucretia. All right, I've decided to go with you. Oh, goody. What? You're coming with us? Being a former Turk, I may be of help. All right, then. Weirdo. Won't you be my Valentine? I get it, because his name's Vincent Valentine. Ah, good one. Nice one, Sony. Hey, I can finally equip this Peacemaker on someone. I've been carrying it around since, like, early on in the game. And didn't have this character, so... This limit break is... Turns into Gellian Beast. That doesn't really tell me anything. We're gonna have to go test this out. Alright, here we go. Gellian Beast. I will now read from my dark poetry book. As I turn into a behemoth. That's what he looks like, anyway. He, d he picks from, like, a number of, like, two or three different moves to do randomly while he's in, uh, Galleon Beast mode. He's got Berserk Dance. Here's the other one. Beast Flare! Woo! Alright. Oh, yeah, I haven't used Odin yet. Let's try that. Steel-Bladed Sword! I think what this does is it either chooses from the insta-kill move or one that doesn't insta-kill, so it can actually be used on bosses. This is the insta-kill variety. But you're gonna see how awesomely effective it is right here. Chop, chop, chop! I killed one of the two forest wolves. Congrats, Odin, you're a bitch. All right, screw this creepy town. I'm going through the mountains to get Sephiroth and beat his ass. Ah, yeah, this is that place we went back when I was like 16 or some shit. Fury Brand, motherfucker! It is quite a useful limit break for Eris. Gives everybody their limit break right away. It's especially good for learning your next limit break, since you have to use the one you've got at X number of times. Beast Flare! Alright. Hey, it's that bridge that broke that one time. Eh, it doesn't break this time. I guess they rebuilt the bridge, too, while they were rebuilding everything else. There's a series of tubes here, you know, like the internet. And, uh, they take you to different places. Eventually, you get down to the bottom. And you get attacked by things like this. That big fucking dragon that one-shotted Cloud back when he was 16. I've gotten a lot stronger since last time, Mr. Dragon. Vengeance! Naked oily man dropping rocks on you. For the win! Stupid dragon. I think he's had enough. Let's give him the other version of Odin to finish his bitch ass off. You summoned me and want me to actually do non-insta-kill moves? Well, all right, if you insist. Something useful! Woohoo! I think maybe if there's no enemies that would actually die from the insta-kill, he doesn't do it. Jesus Christ, how many fucking hit points does this thing have? Showing off for the audience, you son of a bitch. Ha! The ultimate insult, killed by the question mark move. That's how I get my vengeance. Ooh, Sniper CR. Now there's a neat trick you can do with this. 
if you equip it, it gives you 255 attack percentage, which I think is the highest he can get, so it's basically 100% hit. And then you equip the Death Blow material on him in conjunction with that. And then you got non-missable Death Blow attacks. Woohoo! Check it! Fear my Death Blow attack. Shut up! Hurry this up. I have tickets to my chemical romance. So, yeah. Unmissable death blow attacks, although he does miss every once in a while. But uh, the only bad part is he takes like 45 minutes spinning his gun around showing off. Alright, boss fight! You are one ugly motherfucker. You can learn a pretty nice enemy skill from this thing. Starting with the basics. Big guard. Raise my defense. Give me haste. Death blows, bitch ass. Is this supposed to be a dragon or something? I didn't catch its name. I think it's called, like, Materia something or other. Yeah, I think this fight took a little bit longer than uh, it could have, because I was kind of annoyed because he wasn't doing Trine, which is his uh, enemy skill that I wanted to learn. He wouldn't do it, because he's a bitch. See, I tried question mark again here, because it worked so well on the dragon, I still wasn't sure what it did. Two hundred damage. You could kind of guess right there if you weren't retarded like me. If you subtract her total hit points from how many hit points she currently has, that's how many that's how much damage the move does. So yeah. A little bit later I put a little thing up on the screen that shows you what a lot of the enemy skills do that I wasn't quite sure what they did. Just to clear up the confusion. I've got added effect materia also on Vincent, so I can poison bitches, which is what I did to this boss. Big guard wore off, well let's do it again. Are you gonna do your fucking move or not? Come on! I haven't got all day. Bitch. Big horn! That's not trying. He's not even trying to use trying. Ha ha ha! Wordplay! Oh yeah, that's good. That's good stuff. What the? So much for unmissable death blow attacks. See, I told you they don't always hit, but most of the time they do. Poison is doing some decent damage to him. Alright, haven't used Ramu. Might as well get them all in there. Oh yeah, that, that uh, one boss got stopped. One of the guys in the comments mentioned that uh, Shuko Mog has a chance of stopping the enemy, so that's what that's what did it. So thanks to that guy whose name I will put on the screen now. Finally! Woohoo! We learned it! Beta is like the fire big enemy skill, Aqualung's the water one, and then Trine's like the electric one. So now we got all three of those. Do you like frozen tits? Well, you're in luck, buddy. Have some. Hell combo. <laughs> that was pretty pathetic. That was a heck combo at best. Chuckamog! Am I gonna kill him with the ultimate attack? Oh yeah. <laughs> Die to Chuckamog, bitch. In your shame. I sent him back to heck where he belongs. Alright, we did it. We even got a gem ring. And a new materia! Is it a good one? Ooh, counter. Sweet. You know what counter does. Randomly counterattacks when you get hit. As you level it up, the chance of it doing it is higher and higher. Gem Ring gives you immunity to a couple of status effects there that you can see on the screen. Alright, we're out of this bitch. We made it to the other side of the mountain, and now we find some place with a rocket in it. I'll call it Rocket Town. What's that? 
it's a big rocket. It appears to be about to fall on the town and kill half the people. Good placement. A rusty old rocket. wonder why they made something so huge. Let's ask one of these guys. Better ask the captain about this town. He's the one in charge of it. Did you see a man in a black cape? A man in a black cape? Nope, never seen him. Who's the captain? The captain was a pilot when Shinra was still interested in their space program. He was going to be the world's first astronaut, but there was an accident. Ever since then, he's been wasting his life away here dreaming about going into outer space. Nice. Hey, Gramps. This used to be a Shinra base where they launched rockets. You saw the leading rocket, right? That's Shinra number 26. It never got off the ground, though. Tell me more. Just looms there. That's how the town got its name, Shinra number 26. Wanna look at the rocket with me? I'd like nothing more. Plus, I get something for this. Yep, it's a rocket, all right. I get so impressed every time I look at it. Sorry to get you into this. For me, it's a kind of hobby. But out of appreciation, let me give you this. Received Yoshiyuki. I wish you'd take care of it and use it. Well, I don't know if it's as good as the one I got right now. Let's see what we got here. We got the Rune Blade. Whoa, way more damage, but it only has two materia slots. Well, let's see what it looks like. This could make or break it. Holy shit, it's a Sephiroth sword! Awesome! I'm Sephiroth. I'm a badass. hi -ya! You dare attack Sephiroth scum? I want my mommy Genova! I'll stab you! Oh yeah. I am Sephiroth! Fear me! Oh yeah, I gotta keep this sword. Makes me look badass. Sure, it can only hold two materia slots, but... It's a Sephiroth sword, I gotta use it! Alright, I'm keeping it. You know, I got my new awesome Sephiroth sword. Now I need a new awesome limit break. Let's see if we can do something about that. Meteor Rain! Hey, Eris. Reunion. Attacks all opponents. Let's give that one a shot. Sounds cool. Alright, let's go up here. Hello? Anybody here? Let's check the back. Ooh, a sweet plane! There's a Shinra logo on it. Tiny Bronco, this is cool! Want me to keep watch? For what? Um, may I help you? No, we're just looking at it. If you'd like to use it, please ask the captain. The captain should be in the rocket. I'm Shara, and what are your names? I'm Cloud. Cloud Strife! Vincent, I am... never mind. I'm Eris. Hmm, you're not with the Shinra? I thought you were bringing approval for the space program. What the fuck? President Rufus is scheduled to come here. The captain's been so restless all morning. Rufus! I'm gonna kick his ass. You're going down, Rufus! Where's he at? Let me at him. Right, I guess we gotta go find this captain first. Alright, Captain. You know, there's one character we haven't seen yet that's always in Final Fantasy. What are you guys doing here? We heard the captain was here. <laughs> captain! I'm the captain! It's Sid! It's the Sid of Final Fantasy VII! The name's Sid. Everyone calls me Captain, though. What do you want? Tell me about this rocket. Wow, not bad for a kid. Alright then, I'll explain it to you. You know Shinra developed a lot of technological gadgets during the meaningless war, right? Now it's a Mako company, but in the old days it was a weapons manufacturer. Well, they came up with a rocket engine. There was so much excitement about the thought of going into outer space, our dreams got bigger and bigger. They put a major budget into it and made prototype after prototype. Finally, they completed Shinra number 26. They chose the best pilot in Shinra. No, in the world. Me! I mean, come on. I mean, come on. And finally, we get to the day of the launch. Everything was going well. 
But because of that dumbass Shira, the launch got messed up. That's why they became so anal. Stupid bitch. So, Shinra nixed their outer space exploration plans. After they told me how the future was space exploration, it got my damn hopes up. Damn them! Then it was all over once they found out Mako Energy was profitable. They didn't even so much as look at space exploration. Money, moolah, dinero. My dream was just a financial number for them. Look at this rusted rocket. I was supposed to be the first man in space with this. Every day it tilts a little bit more. At this rate, I don't know which will be first. This thing falling over or me getting out of here. My last hope's to talk to the president. Poor little guy. Cheer up, Sid. What do you want? Eh, uh, is Rufus coming? Yeah, it must be news about restarting the space program. Yeah, it must be. A young president, that's what we needed. He still has dreams, too! Right. Uh, can we borrow the tiny Bronco? You out of your fucking mind? That's my most cherished possession. I can't let you take it. You're a real dick, Sid, you know that? At least you're not a Nazi doctor this time, I guess. Excuse me, Cloud? Did the captain say anything? Nope. Oh, except that you're a dumb bitch. Oh? Shit, Shara! What are you, blind? We got guests! Get some tea! Fuck! Jesus, Sid. I I'm sorry. What a healthy relationship. I'm uncomfortable. Really, don't mind us. You fucking asshole. Shut up! Sit down in those chairs and drink your goddamn tea! Ah, oh, damn, I'm pissed! What the hell's your problem, Sid? Sarah, I'll be in the backyard tuning up Tiny Bronco. And make sure to serve them some tea, alright? Show me where he hits you, Shara. Show me the bruises. I'll call someone. Sorry, it's our fault. Oh no, he's always like this. Is it like this all the time? You keep quiet even when he's like that to you? No, it's because of my stupid mistake. I was the one who destroyed his dream. What happened? Flashback! To see even more what a piece of shit Sid is. Hey! Get your ass in gear! You worked like a snail! Even the moon would get tired of waiting around for your ass! I'm, I'm sorry. Don't take so much time checking that fucking oxygen tank. Sarah, being careful is good, but no matter how many times you check that oxygen tank, it won't matter. That thing wouldn't break even if hell froze over. But... No buts! You're not stupid, so be more efficient! I'm sorry. Damn women. Captain, our dreams are finally coming true! We're so proud to be a part of the launch of Shinra number 26. Captain, preparations are complete. All that's left is liftoff. Yeah, leave it all to me. I'll be back in a few. Hail, Captain Dickbag! Alright, Captain, fly our dreams into outer space! Thanks, guys. Hopefully there ain't no dumb broads up in space. We're praying for your safety! Instrument panel, all clear. Shinra number 26, ready for launch. Engine pressure rising. Shinra number 26, three minutes to launch. Beginning countdown. Finally. What the? What happened? Sid, we have an emergency situation. A mechanic is still in the engine section of the rocket. What? Who is the little bitch? I don't know. Activating the intercom in the engine section. Hey, goddammit! Who the fuck's still in there? It's Shara, Captain. Don't mind me. Go ahead with the launch. Shara, what are you still doing in there? I was still concerned. The results of the oxygen tank test weren't satisfactory. You stupid little bitch! It's gonna get so hot in there, there ain't gonna be shit left when we blast off! You're gonna be burnt to a crisp! You're gonna die! You know that, don't you? I don't mind. The fuck? If I could just fix this, the launch will be a success. I'm almost done. What an idiot. 
Almost done! You're gonna die! Sid, we must start the countdown. We won't make it if we don't. Starting engine. Hey, wait a minute! Sure is still in there! What are you gonna do, Sid? If we cancel now, it'll be another six months until the next launch! God damn it, Shara! You wanna make me a murderer? Captain! Shara? Tank number seven check is complete. Once I complete tank number eight, it's all clear. Come on, Shara, hurry up! You're gonna die! 30 seconds of termination. Beginning countdown. Sid, forget about her. We won't make it in time. What? What am I? What am I supposed to do? Tough choice. Kill Shara or don't. 15 seconds until ignition. Internal temperature rising. Oh man, the moon. Outer space. My dreams. Don't do it, Sid. Ignite engine. Shit! Okay, so she's dead, right? Because if she was there... The thing went off, she's got burned to a crisp, right? No, obviously she didn't die, but... <laughs> she fucked the rocket up by having the, the launch get cancelled after it had just started, so... I still don't see why she didn't get burned to a crisp, but you know, that's what happened. Nice going, Shira. Although I'm not sure that quite covers why he's such a piece of shit. <laughs> She is dumb, though. Why the fuck would you do that? He pushed the emergency engine shutdown switch, aborting the mission to save my life. After that, the space program was cut back and the launch was cancelled. It's my fault his dream was destroyed. That's why. It's alright. I don't care what the captain says. I'll live my life for him. Healthy. Shara! You still haven't served him tea? I I'm sorry. Hurry up and sit down, or ain't my hospitality good enough for you? Imagine a party of Barrett and Sid, all the cursing. They're late! Where is Rufus? Hey, hey! Long time no see! So, Sid, how you been? Oh, it's that fucker. Well, if it ain't Fat Man Palmer, how long you figuring on keeping me waiting? Hit him! So, when's the space program gonna start up again? Hey, hey, I don't know. The president's outside, so why don't you ask him? Shit. Good for nothing, fat fuck. <laughs> hey, don't say fat. I'm big pound. Hey, hey, tea. Can I have some too? With lots of sugar and honey and... Oh, yeah, don't forget the lard. Ew, gross. You're fat. What the? You got me all excited for nothing? Then what'd you come here for? I want to borrow the tiny Bronco. We're going after Sephiroth, but seems like we've been going in the wrong direction. But now we think we know where he's headed, but we have to cross the ocean. That's why we want your plane. Shit! First the airship, then the rocket, and now the tiny Bronco? Shinra took outer space away from me, and now you want to take the sky away from me too? Oh my. You seem to forget it was because of Shinra Inc. that you were able to fly in the first place. What? Ah, uh, excuse me. This way. Let's steal the ship. You wanted to use the tiny Bronco, right? Yeah. I believe Palmer's going to take it. Why don't you talk to him? That son of a bitch. Hey. Hmm, why do I have to do this? I'm the head of the space program. You piece of shit. We'll be taking the tiny Bronco. I've seen you somewhere before. I know, the Shinra building, when the president was killed. Nope. S -s security Now you're gonna die, Piggy. What the shit is he doing? <laughs> This is an obscure reference for most of you, but he looks like he's doing his Bastion Booger impersonation.
Come on, you're telling me this fat businessman can take this much damage and not die? Oh, good old RPGs, where no matter how pathetic a character is the whole game, if you get in a boss fight with them, they're gonna have at least a couple of thousand hit points. Raikokan! That's just rude. You're getting the Gunge Lance. <laughs> Sounds like something sexual, if you ask me. Hey, baby, I'm gonna give you the Gunge Lance. Yeah, you're gonna love it. Yeah. You dead yet, fatty? Don't say fat! I judge you to be bacon! With my judgment bolt. Hey, I haven't used Bio 2 yet, I don't think. There we go. Is he poisoned? Uh, probably should have done this earlier in the fight. Or maybe I did and it wore off. I don't remember. <laughs> what the f- You son of a bitch! Don't you taunt me with your luscious ass, you piece of shit! He's mocking me! I will not have it! Kill him, Vincent. Damn it, Vincent, you son of a bitch. How about some trine action? Let's see how that strikes your fancy. <laughs> what the, the hell is he doing? Damn! I almost killed him. Oh, you son of a bitch! Somebody stop him! He's getting away! <laughs> <Ugh! laughs> that has gotta be the best end to a boss fight in all these games so far. The guy gets hit by a truck. So, so he's dead, right? Got him! And we got an Eden coat, which is a pretty awesome armor. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here! Screw Sid! I can't stop it! Forget it! Get in! Come on, emo man. Let's go. Bye, Sid! Thanks for the plane, you son of a bitch! Have fun beating your wife! We have liftoff. Quick, take a dump on Rufus's head! Oh shit, they're shooting at us! Who saw that coming? Oh, here comes Sid. I guess he didn't want us to leave with his property. Oh, nice going, Sid. We wouldn't have got shot except your fat ass weighed us down. Shit! Tail's been hit! You don't say. Emergency landing! This is gonna be a big splash. Hold on to your drawers and don't piss in them! Too late! Mayday! Mayday! Hope there's no sharks in this water. Well, we got our first airship, technically, and now it's in the water. She won't fly anymore. Can't we use it as a boat? Fuck! Do whatever you want! Sid, what will you do now? I don't know. I'm history with the Shinra, and I've given up on that town. How about your wife, Shara? Wife? Don't make me laugh! Just thinking about marrying her gives me the chills! What are you guys gonna do? We're going after a man named Sephiroth. We'll have to get Rufus of the Shinra someday, too. I don't know about any of that, but... What the hell? Sign me up! How about it, everyone? You want White Barrett on our team? I'm all for it! And Vincent doesn't care. Glad to be aboard, numbskulls! Numbskulls? Oh, that's it. Yeah, anyone stupid enough to go up against Shinra nowadays has gotta be a numbskull. I like it! So, where are we headed? Rufus was going after Sephiroth to the Temple of the Ancients. Really? Where is it? That Temple of the Ancients? 
Don't know. That numbskull kid was telling me he was heading the wrong direction, so maybe it's off this way. Let's just head for land and get some information. Temple of the Ancients. That name bothers me. I don't know why. It's perfectly nice there. So now here's how you use the tiny Bronco. And we can now use it to get to areas we couldn't get to before, which means next episode we're going to be doing some side quests. So I hope you guys have enjoyed another action-packed episode of the Final Fantasy Journey. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Twitter at D0WNWHERE. And if you'd like to, you can support me at patreon.com slash downware. We're getting close to the date scene, which is one of the famous scenes in Final Fantasy VII. So look forward to that. See you then.